Um, it's basically oh, have you played Victoria? I have not. It's on. It's been on my list of things to play, but uh, um, I have not played basically I'm doing one. Seven, no. Hey, I'm yeah. staying out of time. Well, uh, Victoria Two is um, incredibly dated. Uh, it's also incredibly fun, uh, but uh, I don't even like. Um, there's basically a meme um, between uh, Paradox developers uh, where uh, like every every new programmer that comes uh, into the company says something along the lines of "I'm gonna fix uh, Victoria Two's economy code." And um, they take a look at it and go, okay, I realize now why this hasn't been fixed uh, <laughs> since release. <laughs> uh, because it's just so confusing, convoluted, and uh, uh, like eldritch that <laughs> basically no one knows how it works anymore. Uh, and uh, uh, everyone's afraid to change anything uh, lest they uh, break uh, the entire game. <laughs> Which basically, it already is broken, but it sort of works. Um, so they just left it like that. <laughs> fair enough, um, fair enough, yeah. yeah. It's also the reason why uh, Victoria 2 got discontinued. Uh, uh, well, uh, they stopped supporting it with like updates and DLC, uh, despite its uh, kind of like success uh, and like the status of uh, a cult classic. Um, mm. because it, it was basically just uh, impossible to work with. Um, mm -hmm. Because, like, the original uh, team, uh, like, uh, like a, a lot of the people that worked on, like, uh, the fundamental core mechanics of the game, like the economy and stuff, and, like, trading, mm. uh, were just not there in the company, and uh, since the code was so confusing, they basically had no one to uh, well, work on the game without break, and uh, if it was uh, basically just too hard to actually uh, improve the game <laughs> without like yeah, uh, yeah. making just a new Victoria, <laughs> which is what yeah. they did, basically. Yeah. I've actually played uh, like the, the leaked uh, version of Victoria 3, and uh, hmm. as much as it is, uh, well, it, it's very work in progress. You can definitely see that. But uh, honestly, the core gameplay loop uh, of uh, managing your economy and your pops and your like political system, it just works really well. It's uh, it's very fun, <laughs> despite the. Uh, Fair enough. Being like uh, really broken right now and uh, unbalanced, um, mm -hmm. uh, it just needs like a, a lot more work, and uh, you've got a. Uh, it needs a lot more polish, um, but uh, I think it has uh, all the potential to like uh, overshadow Victoria Free, like even just yeah. on release. Um, yeah. Unlike CK3, of course, <laughs> because uh, CK3 on release was a, a kind of a mess, actually. Um, yeah, I remember yeah, that. There was, uh, a there was a few major... Exp I, I wouldn't say quite a mess, per se, but there were a few um, major exploits in it. Well, yeah, uh, balance issues, uh, and, yeah. Like, uh, and there was quite a, a lot of bugs as well uh, in, like, uh, I think uh, the one I got to actually experience is uh, the succession bug, which uh, mm. I remember in the previous stream uh, where we played as Alfonso of Spain, uh, in, uh, like the, the intrigue uh, guy, the intrigue Jimena guy in 1066. Um, mm. Basically, the, uh, they encountered, like, uh, like right on the pre previous stream, they encountered a bug um, uh, where uh, I think. So I think it was um, uh, like a, an incorrect heir uh, to the Kingdom of Galicia, uh, mm. where uh, the, uh, they killed off the uh, current heir to Galicia, uh, expecting uh, themselves to become the heir, because, um, well, 
it should have worked that way. Um, but mm. sadly, uh, some random boy basically got in hurt because uh, I think his mother was uh, uh, the previous spouse of the king. Mm. Um, and that kind of screwed up uh, uh, the succession, like there was some kind of, some sort of uh, uh, busted logic that uh, led to uh, the succession order uh, going to that kid, uh, who wasn't uh, even um, in the same dynasty, or like uh, his, his father was basically uh, irrelevant to the actual throne. But mm -hmm. yeah, the game kind of screwed up and uh, that happened. It, it was only fixed uh, in like 1.1. 1 .1. Well, uh, basically, like uh, a few uh, a few weeks into release, yeah. Fair and enough, uh, yeah. also, yeah. I remember um, like elective successions just not really working, <laughs> like dynasty yeah. and uh, um, uh, like yeah. and, uh, and like uh, Anglo-Saxon elective just uh, you were better off just just not using them because I, I have honestly even no idea what was wrong there. It just didn't really work. Yeah, <laughs> fair enough. The main thing I remember from in the early days was just um, that you could create uh, uh, space marine archers and stuff, and oh yeah, and yeah. buildings to act instead of giving percent percentages, they just add raw numbers, and so you could just stack your spa one building type to make just insane archers or whatever kind of uh, man arms you wanted. Yeah. I remember that as well, although I, actually, I didn't actually get to exploit it. Uh, I, <laughs> I remember my very first game in CKP was actually with my friends in multiplayer. I, I didn't even... Not, uh, uh, no one has done the tutorial, uh, and I was the only one who kept up with like uh, all the dev diaries and stuff. <laughs> so I, I basically already knew how to play the game, for the most part. Um, and uh, we all started in Lithuania, uh, in, I think, 867. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I immediately had uh, seven daughters in, in a row. <laughs> <laughs> uh, with, uh, like, only, only my eighth kid uh, being uh, male. Um, and that kid uh, also had seven daughters in a row, but uh, with no... Uh, male heir. Uh, uh. <laughs> that was uh, some in, in, in insane chances right off the bat. And that, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's gonna get you some interesting succession. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> we abandoned that safe pretty early. <laughs> it's still uh, very interesting. Fair enough, fair enough, yeah, yeah. One thing I'm always a bit annoyed at myself for missing out on is I never tried out North Korea mode before they patched out the game. Uh, yeah, I think they gave some like uh, hard debuffs to basically make it to just not viable. Well, not just not mm. viable, they made it so that it completely didn't work. The idea of North Korea oh, mode yeah. was that eventually yeah, you would own it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You basically, in basically, they just disabled the buildings entirely. Mm. Yeah, yeah. They just literally just gave nothing. Um, yeah. Which I suppose mm. is fair. <laughs> yeah. So I see how this game goes. Hopefully the... Uh, mod works for everyone, which this should do now. This should actually prop... The main issue with the desyncs was just caused by that one, um... Uh... Uh... File structure issue. So with that fixed, this should all now be good. Okay. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah. So we should yeah, be. I think, I think uh, the game starts at the. Um, uh, in, in basically. 
almost an hour and a half, right? Uh, uh, uh twenty minutes, about half an hour. Oh, it's actually. Uh, yeah, then it's half an hour. Uh. All right. Okay, so we have some time still. I'm currently oh, yep. playing uh, Crawl. Uh, mm. Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup, if you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got one. Yeah. I. Uh, basically, I played this game for like uh, seven, maybe uh, seven years or something. Um, but I took like uh, major breaks. Uh, mm. Like uh, several, several years worth of breaks. <laughs> Uh, in, bet in, in between playing, uh, and only recently I actually beat the game for the first time. <laughs> because uh, uh, honestly, it's not like uh, it's not that the game is uh, like super hard or brutal. Um, I was mostly just incredibly greedy <laughs> because I, I just didn't want to uh, complete the game with like a, a bare minimum of three runes. Uh, I wanted to take more. <laughs> And only then, escape. Hello. Hello. Hey. Uh, hey, copycat. Yeah, hi. How's the mod going? Uh, mod uh, should be all fixed up now. Yeah, we tested it uh, just now, although it was only the two of us. Uh, update thing, or is it going to update it again? Um, if you're on, uh, let's see, what's the... If you're on 0BD1, you should be good. And it was working here with this one. Yes. So the main issue I was causing the desyncs was that um, there was the way the file system was set up was uh, they had all the murder events in one file, but for some reason they then had another file in that file so that had just one of the murder events in it. And that was the murder event I needed to change. Okay. So I created the file system, but I forgot to create the uh, sub folder, uh, and so um, that resulted in the game n the game not properly overwriting the base the vanilla file with the my modified file. So it detected two copies of the event, and they were not quite the same. And the game freaked out. Can I ask Basically, you okay. Uh, so the mod currently it has the fracture thing, right? Uh, yes, it does. Oh, no. And fractures all empires. All empire types. Uh, currently it is set to fracture all empires. Because if I have some time, I might change it so that instead fractures one empire, and then, um... Empires. Otherwise, it's so easy to reconquer, especially if there are players. Like, the, the thing well, is supposed to scare hugboxes, but if the hugbox can just be, like, square fealty... What I was going to say is, fracture one empire, and then disallow all the vassals in that empire who are now independent from swearing fe fealty for 75 years. That feels a bit more complicated than just destroying all empire titles. Fair enough, but the And we well, want to keep it as simple as, simple as possible, don't we? So, like, less bad things can happen when updates and stuff. Well, I mean, it's not going to be a, uh, less bad things having updates and stuff either way, but, uh... Is it is it uh, only to Empire title characters or to everyone that can't be sworn feel C2? Because that could be an issue. Um, I was... To be fair, I, always, I almost feel like it should be like the person gets a debuff that no one can swear fealty to them. And not that the people who became independent can. Like, yeah, yeah, that, just... that sounds uh, better because then... Uh, you can't... It's supposed to be a scary thing. It's not supposed to be, oh, you lost some of your stuff. No, it's supposed to be, you're an empire, you can lose everything. Like, you're supposed to be scared of... fair is not... I think that losing an, emp an entire empire section, or entire section of empire is a little bit more than, oh, you lost some of your stuff, but we'll point see, taken. Like... taken. Yeah. You st you'll probably still remain the most of your stuff if you're a multi-empire. And the thing with destroying multiple empire titles, with this is that it's supposed to not make people want to ha have like free empire titles to combat the mod. We want to just like, oh, you have one or you have three. So uh, now you're still under the same threat. Yeah. I shall okay. take your. Uh, um. At least that's how I, I understood will... it. Fair enough. I shall consider it some as well. 
my main, the main idea I was, I was doing or working with was just that um, if you are a super large empire, sharing the entire empire at once feels a bit uh, too much. While sharing it and the empire, make it so that you had to reconquer everything if you wanted to gain that territory back. Like, and you can't just you can't still, just... You can't still reconquer stuff, but you would have to be fighting either AI, which did that much of a or a player, which you were actually in the game, which would make it a lot harder for. So it's pretty okay legit with AI as assholes, or legit legit. Like, you got my point. Oh, fuck me. Box, and I agree, I have been hugboxing. I'm not saying that they don't, I'm just saying. I haven't. Have player vassals are good. Except oh, for against the AI, but doesn't count. Hard time. While people who have player vassals are gonna have a whole lot harder trying to reform their empire. Because they need to take land from each other to do it. And that might cause internal conflicts and stir up more plots and shit, and that's the things we like here. Drop. Fair enough. I will. I will think about it. Regardless, it currently functions as you. Just... As you were saying, with destroying all empire tiles anyway, so shouldn't be too much of an issue at the moment. Uh, the other thing, so currently, if you're a player vassal of someone, you have a debuff, or the the, the liege has the debuff, right? Uh, the liege currently does not have debuffs at the moment, mostly just because um. It worked. It was a anti-hack debuff. There was a player liege and a player vassal. Uh, currently, it's just applied to the player vassals. It was mostly because um, I, I probably can and will apply it to Leech eventually. Leech just that that would just because just that the uh, player debuffs were already being annoyingly complicated because it turns out you can't do any logic checks next besides the most basic hard code kinds in uh, player contracts and government types at all, which is quite annoying. And, but uh, basically, the way it works is that. Um, Players will receive a scaling debuff of if they are a player vassal with a player liege. Liege. Uh, the, de the vassal gets the debuff. And what, what it, does the debuff do? Like it, the, what, I, I am about to explain that. I am about to explain that. Yeah, no, you're fine. But uh, the debuff gives minus 10% uh, income, levies, and uh, prestige for each low tier of your primary title. So counts get minus ten percent, uh, dukes get minus twenty percent, and kings get minus thirty percent. Also, council positions for um, a player is if uh, the council position for a player, if the liege is also a player, uh, only gives um, bonuses equivalent to being a um, duke normally. Duke? I thought it was a king. Uh, no, as in in the. Uh, as if the le the liege was a duke. The council position bonuses scale depending on what level. If, uh, uh, if my liege is a emperor and I am a king and I'm a steward, I would only gain one month per uh, or one gold, one extra gold per month. Exactly. Yes. Or actually, it'd be three if you were, if they were an emperor, and we reduce that down to one. So that's already a really good bonus. Bonus is as is. The council positions bonuses are well, way, way, way too strong. Uh, and even still being even with Duke level, they're still really good. Oh, I'm here. Okay. We're talking a bit about how the fracture empire, if it's gonna fracture all empire titles, or if it's just gonna fracture one of them, and then make everything in that become independent and not be able to swear fealty to the person who lost the Currently title. is set up to um, uh, fracture all empires, it's mostly because I didn't have enough time I'm to change it, didn't know the major, try to ch change it to uh, fracture a single empire. Higher and um, then set up the the no vassalization thing. I think mostly because that'd be relatively complicated, and I was just wanted to try and fix what um, already was there, primarily. And I was uh, argumenting uh, that we should keep it like that because otherwise it would incentivize people to have multiple empires to like combat the mob, which is not really yeah. the point of having. Yeah, no, the main I, thing is that it still requires someone to go out and conquer an entire additional empire, which is not an easy task. 
Yeah. You're gonna have to get your empires. Because let's say that the, 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 um, the Holy Roman Emperor, for example, and they have an alliance with France, and they can just vassalize them. That's another empire. There, like that. Like, if they manage. If you were to take something, it would. If, like, if you were to take the other empire manually, it would probably take some time. But it's pretty easy to convince someone to just become your vassal, and even not for a long time. You can just make it well, temporary, create a title, and then let it go. On that, I say first off, you have the empire obscurity mechanics, which will make it so that empire tiles are destroyed if the emperor does control 20% more than at least 20% of the land. And secondly, um, uh, Vassal Slish is now a much less tempting offer for players, as being a Vassal will mean you get a major cut of you'll get your income and your uh, levies pretty heavily cut. Up, up the Empire Obscurity to 25%. Might be 25%. Game roll. If it isn't, then uh, 26. Isn't Wait, what's Empire people? Obscurity again? It's that if you, if you have, are an Emperor, or if any if one is an Emperor, and they control less than, I think it's 20% of that... The yeah, it is less than 20%. Oh. So, so let's say that Holy Roman Empire loses everything and it's a one count, the Empire mm -hmm. title is going to get destroyed, because no one would believe... Other, yeah, no one would believe an Emperor who only has one county. Yeah, that's a good rule. Upgrade it. Upgrade it. Yeah, added, so that's very nice. An extra 5%. Are we using the mod today? Uh, uh yes. Uh, I have. Yeah. Oh, are you okay with that, Jessica? Yeah, I'm, I'm just curious about the game rule with uh, assassination and stuff. Uh, uh, so I changed it yeah. so that it's now set by default, so we don't have to worry about the uh, game okay. rules. Okay, nice. Because it will now apply by default. Yeah, yeah, oh. uh, it was, yeah. I thought but it would not. Be active man. because okay. Well, uh, Fonda, you said this mod, uh, like in the description, you say it's for this multiplayer. Is it okay for this mod for other games that I have? Sure, yeah, go right ahead. I'm not gonna stop you. Yeah. Feel free, feel free to use it whatever the heck you want. I don't care. Not like it's copyrighted. <laughs> yeah, but I, I feel like if I'm gonna be using your things, I yeah, no. make sure it's okay with you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no. Uh, one, one, thank you for one. Thank you for asking me. Two. Uh, feel free, I give you my full endorsement. If you want to use this for something else, that's great. If I am- it, That means someone else is going to pay my work. Awesome! Friends only. <laughs> because you can well, do I that. Think... Yeah, hmm? but still. It's always nice to have someone ask, I think. Yeah, yeah, no. And thank you for asking. And my response is as enthusiastic, yes, feel free. Do we know if no one's gonna, if they're gonna, like, how many people are not gonna be here today? I, I, um, I counted at least three. And I removed that because it wasn't a countdown, it was someone saying you couldn't be here. Maybe I shouldn't have done that now when I think about it because I don't I know if they wrote that somewhere else. That's fine, we'll just have like nine people total. Only nine people. Maybe, uh, Dovska, if you could add, like, edit a message and say that the uh, thing should be the checksum is OBD1, the thing that I heard, that everyone knows. Wait, what? Uh, I, what did I hear? I didn't know I found the shield. Uh, the checksum? Do you have the right, do you have the mod equipped? Yes. Uh, yeah, it should be 0BD1 for the checksum. Yeah. Nice. Dang, I got a different checksum. Let me see. Uh, if you have a different checksum, try and unsubscribe and resubscribe to the mod. I think I might have just left another mod on. Yeah, oh yeah, and check to make sure you don't have any other mods active. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what I did. But yeah, that would do it as well. Hopefully, this uh, session I can expand and not be a one county with more income than most people. <laughs> I can't relate. I have no income, but I'm two counties. Yeah, but the opposite of, you're the opposite of me. You have uh, twice as many counties, but probably like half the income of me. I think I'm yeah. currently in a world of the I believe I'm currently about to be have a kingdom and still have less income than you, copycat. <laughs> I think I'm earning like, yeah, but it's, okay. What's this guy? How much income do you have, Like, uh, 
Because I'm my leech is steward bonus. No, he is. Oh no, wait, he's a king now, isn't it? Yeah, he is. I am a king with 400 units. Yeah, Berber's had a really fun time in the, the islands. Yeah, what? what? The king of pizza without pizza. Yeah, he was the first king because he usurped a titular title and then. And now he's. Um... It's not titular, isn't it? A Demon proper landed title? No, it's titular. It's titular because it's just a republic. No, but isn't it not like on the de jure map? On the de jure map? No, it's not on no. the de jure it's, map. It's 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 just because the republics are always kingdoms, like Venice, uh, but Venice is actually uh, a thing. What well, what? It's well, a, it's you a only need pizza to create it. In the future, you'll be able to play them because they'll be adding merchant republics back into the game. It'll be great. It'll be cool. Yeah, what? Like four years from now? I'll never play them. I'll always play Christian or Norse. It'll be the next update, obviously. I think, I, I hope at least that the next update is going to be a step update, so they can uh, fix, or not fix, but like add a new uh, government type and so for the Mongolians and shit. I the Republic's of course, the the they always love the Raiders. I would love yeah. the Return of the Nomads, that'd be so awesome. Uh, have, you, have you played them in 62? Development Step Province Kings. Oh, the Nomads are my favorite oh, thing to play in CK2. Oh no, I'm I'm just casually committing nas- Uh, you know. Help me, Step Mongolia. I'm stuck. Step Con, what are you doing? Step Coggin, what are you doing? <laughs> I have a problem. Don't That's worry, my Crimea. Oh, oh, is it private? Uh, no, it should be public. I can't see it. The game I can't see it either. Do you have the right check on Dobsko? Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, I don't. <laughs> no! <laughs> so, did, I to, did I need to reinstall the mod? Uh, I mean, you could. You probably you just should. Well, no, I just did, because I thought I had the wrong check sum, but I don't know now. Okay, yeah, Checksum I'll... OBD1. Yeah, uh, I'll, you I'll, will I'll have, I will really check so some if you just go to Steam Workshop page, like the CK3 page workshop, and click on the mod. And of course, oh. you are subscribed, but then it should like catch up to, to the fact that you wanna, uh, you know, have it updated. I have oh. and stuff. Check some. Yeah, so I have. I need to uninstall and reinstall CK3. Not CK3, just the mod. Yeah. It's uninstall and reinstall system 32. Zero BD1. Uninstall and reinstall Windows. Yes. <laughs> they need to download more RAM, you guys. Computer and buy a new one. There you go. Yeah. Does anyone have a link to buy more RAM? <laughs> I do. Here. Yeah. I have ready. Well, I mean, mm -hmm. you can definitely, uh, I definitely have links to buy more RAM. <laughs> but not to download. Yeah, I need to download it though. Like, where's the, where's the Robux card? Guys, if you go to freeviruses.com, you can get un in unlimited uh, free RAM. Based. Yeah. <laughs> Actually based. Yeah, you can get RAM. Uh, let's see. Oh yeah, no, it's correct. More like awesome. get rammed. Yeah, yeah. sorry, that was, that was what I was going for. <laughs> Only the most profound jokes. Mm -hmm. No. Most unprofound, because profound is digital. Hey, uh, Just start speaking oh, in no, tongues and backwards. Alright, no, it should be correct. Oh, it is. It's hosting. It's here. Sweet. Sweet home. No! No. Yes. Sweet home medieval. Download more uh, Are we uh, are we actually starting or is this just like a test? Uh... Wait, wait, what's the check we're stuff? Oh, yeah, going, so... And we are if it works, we're going. Yeah, yeah. If it crashes, then we. If this fails, we're banning you. No. But no pressure, though. <laughs> no pressure. No pressure. Yeah, no pressure. You... Wait. Is Artorius here? No hard feelings. Uh, yeah, he is. I mean, he's uh, he's alive somewhere. 
No, he messaged, he just didn't mic up. Yeah, he'll probably jump in. I didn't miss him, but other than GM. Oh, well, Screx, he's kind of leaving, I think, after I had to fight him. We can just restart well, somewhere else. The uh, Lubick dude, or. No. No, that was, um. Screx, the yeah. Spymon dude. Is it just he had a couple wars and he got kind of shit on. <laughs> okay. And, um. Yeah. I didn't want to kill him immediately, but he started threatening me. With what? Wait, kill him? <laughs> no, I thought he was attacking you. Oh no, was that someone else who tried to take No, so he, he made a comment about attacking me because he misunderstood some stuff. And so then at that point, I just went in on him. So. That, that's the whole. Yeah. It's like a defensive thing, you know? Yeah, but okay, I do understand- Preemptive Oh, the need to be defended, so I can- A strike is still a strike, which I would count as offensive. Oh, no, the defensive. Romans- You ever heard the, the Romans. Saying, best defense is offense? Yes. The Romans like invented- <laughs> No, I the think you're actually wrong. I'm, I'm trying to say- The, the peace and <laughs> fake news. Yeah, it's impossible to get a word in, in this chat. The Romans invented the concept of Casus Belli, the yeah. cause for war, because, and the cause for war was they are planning to attack us, so we will invade them and conquer them first. And they, it wasn't like made up, they, they actually only did that when the others were legitimately planning to attack them. They only stopped that with Caesar. Wait a minute. Co correct I'm me if I'm wrong, but wow. didn't the Romans like officially never wage an offensive war? It was all just. Defensively. Yeah, but but uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. sisters was when they started making up defensive wars. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they made it officially, unofficially. Like, of course, they expanded beyond uh, the peninsula. Sisters, belly was that the Gauls had revolted against the Romans. What do you mean revolted? They were never under control of the Romans. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> it's my guy, you know. Uh, is it just me or... he, he was referring to Gauls inside the Roman Empire, obviously, totally. Uh, I think yeah, my Discord is kind of laggy. Guys, I, I, got, I got a challenge for you. There is something wrong with the whole Roman Empire. If you figure it out, I will uh, not attack you with my giant 500 men army. Uh, is it the Hungarian chunk in Bohemia? The, the, the Hungarian chunk in Bohemia is so small, it's very simple. It should cover all no, of Bohemia. There's something else in it. There's There's a gay touch man on the throne. Because it's not a mind. Not the thing I'm looking for. It's not a mind, bro. There is something else. You might need to look a bit further. Who the fuck is? Are we really down to? It's uh, it's it's already? No, there's there's no. more. There's like two more, but I don't think they're here yet. The thing is, it has eight electors. Well, yeah, because uh, the emperor. Yeah, yeah, because it has seven electors and oh. the emperor also votes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought the emperor's election was counted in uh, in the server. I have to fight. No, I because I never looked at. Um, no, well, uh, historically, the emperor didn't get to vote. This is just so the player isn't completely just, um, screwed. Just as a heads up, I'm gonna have to game over again and go back to Lesser Romania because I'm a 45 year old woman that can't have kids. So. Wait, what do you mean? Your son is your heir, and he's. Very yeah, but I, 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 I'm not of the dynasty, dynasty, so oh, he doesn't he's like. Dynasty, yeah. Yeah. So uh, I've got to start another deposition war. I think it's deposed twice. Uh, mm -hmm. Get yourself, become a uh, a queen, and get the one core event where you get to choose to adopt a kid, and then disinherit your current heir. Uh, it doesn't matter. The, the deposition uh, war is going to happen either way. It's the easiest way. Fair enough. Yes, I just never thought that the program had. At what? Your mother!